What's up, everybody? Welcome back to The Pulse. Today, we're going to share with you some of our top favorite book recommendations. It's getting cold out, so grab a blanket, find a comfy seat, and let's get started. Um, so the one I want to talk about is actually a book series. Uh, it's called the Morganville Vampire Series. Okay. And it's about this little town in Texas that's kind of it's kind of in the middle of nowhere uh, but or at least that's how it feels when you're reading the books but it is said to be like an hour from another larger city mm -hmm. uh, and it's about this like genius 16 year old who goes off to college she's convinced her parents to let her go to this college that's like an hour away from home and she uh and she gets she kind of gets on the bad side the wrong person at school and ends up going out into town and finding out that the town is actually run by vampires mm -hmm. and um she ends up living in this house off campus with this group of people from the town that are all kind of on the bad side of the vampires Wait. and so like they all have to be home before dark because if because that's when you really have to worry uh and and it's the typical like the vampires have to be invited in to get into the house. And then there's like people in the town who make deals with the vampires and they exchange, uh, they let the vampires feed on them so much to get protection from having it even worse. And yeah, there's a lot of really intricate like world building and like the ways that they explain how the vampires run the town and people outside the town don't find out and how and how they kind of control the people in the town without anybody turning on them really makes sense so like there's a lot of thought put into the world building which i really like yeah it wasn't just like yeah it happens because they're vampires like there's a lot like you find out all of the intricate little bits throughout the series of how this actually works and why people don't like go to the authorities like that. Um, and yeah, I, yeah. So I really liked the world. I think it was really well done. Um, how about you, Parker? What, what, what's one of your top favorite book recommendations? Uh, well, it's uh, radio silence by Alice Osman. She's the same person who wrote Heartstopper. That's gotten really popular. Uh, okay, so it's about these two people. Um, they're like, like high school, like kind of like seniors. It's set in like England, and so it's different high school system thing. But like, they're one of them is like sixteen, the other one's seventeen. But uh, one of them hosts this like science fiction podcast, like, and they like post it on YouTube and stuff. But like, uh, no one knows that it's him that posts it. It's like a secret, and then. Uh, the other person um, has been like listening to this podcast since like it first started and she's been post she's like been like drawing art and like posting it on like online sites yeah and then mm -hmm. the like the creator of the podcast because it's been posted on YouTube he wants there to be like some sort of like art that goes on throughout like the episode yeah, and so like, he, finds, he finds her account but he he also doesn't know that it's her. So they know each other in real life. They're not like friends yet, but they know each other. But she goes by like an online name and he also goes by a different name on the on his it was like Twitter that he contacted her. And so then so then she's like, Yeah, sure, I'll be the artist for the podcast. And then something happens like like in real life where she where he like he's like drunk or something and then he like quotes the podcast and she's like wait what and so she like so then they kind of like hang out and then he like admits to her that he created the podcast 
but he also did it while he was drunk, whatever. But then, but then I think there was a little fuzzy on the details, but I think it was that the actual premise of the book is that they're friends and they're working on this podcast together. It's just, okay. Yeah. And then that's kind of where I'm in the book right now. Share my book book recommendation. Um, it is also a collection, but it's a collection of short stories. Uh, and it's called The Illustrated Man by Ray Bradbury. Um, and it's a book of, I think there's like 18 short stories in there and science fiction. Um, and my favorite one is called Kaleidoscope. And it's just, it's, it catches you off guard and then kind of sticks with you. And like, it made me feel a little bit unsettled and unsure. And I, I wasn't quite sure how I felt about it when I, you know, first read it and went all the way through and was like, this is uncomfortable, but also is it, or am I just like thinking about things that I've never really thought about before? Um, so this one story is about a space crew who, um, their, their spaceship has malfunctioned. Um, and they're going towards their inevitable death and they're just kind of the narrator is reflecting on like his life and how like how things didn't work out and how negative everything is um and <laughs> his final wish is that his life would be like worth something um to somebody and then the the craft falls through the atmosphere and as it does it burns up and it looks like a shooting star to some little kid in Illinois so it's like he kind of was worth something to someone but it was like you know what this kid thought was a shooting star it was actually like a burning corpse um but so <laughs> yes it, <laughs> it might it was a little bit um uncomfortable but it's one of those stories that's just kind of like makes you think for a second um and so this yeah it's it's full of these um sci-fi stories and i just i love um ray bradbury all ray bradbury um major sci-fi nerd over here so i highly highly recommend if you want something that's just interesting and they're not all like i probably picked the most torturous tale in the whole um series but highly recommend um checking this this series out and you can pick it up just about anywhere um and I'm sure you can find it online just about anywhere as well. It's a very popular book. Um, yeah, those are our book recommendations. That does it for this week's episode of The Pulse. Join us next time when we go into detail about how to boost your confidence. As always, if you have comments, questions, or ideas that you'd like us to discuss on the show, shoot an email to voa at pacificautismfamily.com and we'll get back to you. We'd love to have new guests, and we're always looking for people to co-host on the show with us. Have a great one. Thanks for listening. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you next time.